Coming up on What to Watch on Google TV, we're hosting a big family dinner. Leaving espionage to the birds. Saving the day with Bruce Willis. And wishing Harry, Ron, and Hermione a happy Christmas. Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's What to Watch on Google TV, where our team of experts, Patrick Gomez, Chanel Johnson, Joy McDonald, and me, Jared Hall, will help guide you through our favorite title streaming this month. Tis the season to be streaming. As this year winds down and the decorations go up, we thought it would be fun to share some of our annual holiday viewing traditions. Immediately upon its release last year, Ted Lasso season two episode Carol of the Bells became an instant classic with fans proclaiming the installment a new addition to their holiday tradition. To the family we're born with and to the family we make along the way and most importantly to Richmond! <laughs> Higgins and his family host a dinner party for AFC Richmond players who couldn't be with their own families. Roy and Keeley postpone their sexy Christmas to find a dentist for his niece, complete with a Love Actually tribute. And Rebecca recruits a lonely Ted to hand out gifts, and Hannah Waddingham shows off her pipes yet again. The episode is a true gift and will have you in the holiday spirit in just 30 minutes. Ted Lasso is streaming on Apple TV+. Hey, Chanel, what's in your holiday rotation? 2019 had a lot of great TV and movies, so I can't blame anyone that missed Spies in Disguise opening on Christmas Day. But if you like animated movies, you should make a point to add this to your December rotation. Will Smith stars a super spy Lance Sterling who accidentally gets turned into a bird thanks to one of scientist Walter Beckett's unconventional experiments. The subject appears disoriented. Walter, what did you do? Hey, Lance, look at me. Look at you? I can't not look at you, Walter. I can see my butt and your face at the same time. Walter is played by Spider-Man himself, Tom Holland. The movie is a family-friendly adventure that's both charming and genuinely hilarious. My siblings and I watched it together over the holidays, and now it's a favorite. It will absolutely enhance your family get-togethers. Spies in Disguise is streaming on Disney+. Plus. Let's see what Jory's watching. The holiday season is in full swing, and it wouldn't be complete without watching the Christmas classic, Die Hard. What? I know, I'll explain. Mayday, terrorists have seized the Nakatomi Plaza. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? The 1988 film was originally released in July, and it's technically in the action genre, but it has all of the makings of a Christmas classic. For one, it takes place during a holiday office party. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. And it features songs like Winter Wonderland and Let It Snow. And just in case I haven't convinced you yet, it snows at the end of the movie. I don't know the last time it really snowed in LA, but Die Hard delivers the festive scene. Die Hard is streaming on Stars. Hey Patrick, what are you watching over the holidays? Jory, I'm so glad you asked. For the better part of a decade, sweater weather was quickly followed by Pottermania, with a new Harry Potter adventure hitting the big screen each November. I like to keep that tradition going by watching the saga at home every holiday season. Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event, the Triwizard Tournament. And trust me when I say, these contests are not for the faint-hearted. Most of the films cover an entire school year, but the Christmas scenes are always a highlight. It's hard to pick a favorite, but the Yule Ball from Goblet of Fire is definitely at the top of the list. I will never forget seeing Hermione's glow up reveal on the stairs for the first time. Give yourself a present this year by revisiting Hogwarts. All the Harry Potter movies are streaming on HBO Max. To see what else we're watching this month, be sure to check out Entertainment Weekly's full content collection. Happy holidays, and we'll be back next month to tell you what to watch on Google TV.